damn it. It's completely dead. assistant for Dr. Styles. I can't believe what I did last night. I need to get out of here before they figure out who I really am. into beds, but he's not in this one. Houdini! There you are! Are you scared? Or just up to your usual tricks, you furball you? I was worried! Stay put for at least 10 minutes, will you, Who? Hmm, that's a great bed. Too bad it was just for one night. All I have is five pounds. I should never have bought that piece of crap bike in Liverpool. It wiped me out. Houdini's water bottle. Unfortunately, it's empty. Amazing considering how soaked I got last night. The Deedless Club London. I will get there, one way or another. I still have some Houdini goodies left. That rabbit eats better than I do. that bed. Best bed I ever slept in. This fits Houdini's cage. This fits Houdini's cage. Houdini must be thirsty. I should put this on his cage. Yum! Nice, cool water. This needs to go to Houdini. There you go. 
The hard stuff. Don't overdo it now. You never could hold your carrots. I'm almost done reading it. Trey Gothic. I don't need to carry it around, though. A clean, crisp deck of cards is one of the necessities of life. My first magic book. The tricks are kind of juvenile, but the basic techniques are timeless. I never go anywhere without it. A towel is the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have. A girl traveling alone has to have more than a few tricks up her sleeve. Hey, Mom and Dad. Looks like the rain didn't hurt you. That's cool. A letter from the foster care department back in D.C. I don't need to take it. I need to get out of here before they figure out I'm an imposter. But first, I need to find a map or bus schedule or something so I can figure out where I'm going. Some dusty old armor in there. Those gargoyles look like they were taken from an old building or something. Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. Hmm. Looks like it might be another bedroom. I don't think I'll go there. She's beautiful. Kind of a Grace Kelly type. Wonder who she is. It says, for the new assistant, Hopefully, by the time they figure out I'm not that person, I'll be long gone. There's no one I can call. I don't know a soul here. And I can't call a repair shop because I don't have any money. I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. You know, this house is downright creepy. And I'm an ex-goth. I know creepy. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. Dr. David Stiles, neurobiology. Hope he finds the assistant he's looking for. Dr. David Stiles. these some of the doctor's patients? Um, interesting. Lovely. Just what I want to see when I'm waiting in a doctor's office.
There's no you are here on the globe, unfortunately. Ooh, I could really use a bit of that, even 20 pounds. I'm stone broke. But it's the magician's creed, never take cash or other valuables. I just can't. There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. I think I noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Cool house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. I stuck my bike in there last night. I'll probably ditch it. It'll cost too much to fix it, and it's a piece of junk anyway. Damn it. I'll have to leave it and find a bus or train to London. I spent the last of my cash on that piece of crap. I could make a run for it in the car, but I'd probably be busted before I'd gone 20 miles. Oh. There you are. I was just going to see if you was awake. Oh, hi. You aren't sneaking out on us, are you? Me? Nah. Well, come and get your breakfast. I've got eggs, porridge, toast and ham. Oh, be ashamed to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, thanks. I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. Cool candelabra. All I need is a nightgown and a stormy night, and I can play Jane Eyre. I guess the doctor likes music with his meals. Or maybe his patients do. Assuming they're around here somewhere. shy about it. Mm, it smells amazing. I didn't know how you took your eggs, so I made them the way I like them. But I can do them however you like starting tomorrow. I'm not picky. Ta. One way is easy as another. People need a good breakfast, I always say. Oh my god, these are the best eggs I've ever tasted. <laughs> well now, himself does like them fresh. We've got a farmer drops them off every few days. Bit peckish, are you? What do they feed you over there at Oxford? Oxford? Um, the usual. 
and I never saw anyone in my life as cold, wet and tired as you last night. But we didn't walk all that way. There's a bus stop just down the road, no more than 20 yards. Takes you right to Oxford Centre. Wow. Still going on about them eggs, are you? No, I just can't believe my luck lately. Well, before you go off, himself left instructions for you on the door to the basement. Himself? Oh, <laughs> I mean Dr. Styles, of course. He's working down in the lab this morning and doesn't want to be disturbed. Now, I know you must have a question or two. Don't be shy about asking, Samantha. It's Sam, but funny. I don't remember telling you my name last night. It was a tag on your backpack when I washed your clothes. You really should update it to your Oxford address, dear. Wouldn't do having someone ship it back to the States if you lost it, now would it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Mrs Dalton. I did tell you, but I suspect you were half asleep at the time. Who all lives here? Lord, it must seem a big old empty place to you. Sometimes I forget. It's only himself and me. Just two people? In this huge old house? He can't abide company. Look, he can be difficult. I'll never say otherwise. But no matter what you've heard over there at that university, don't believe it. All I ask is that you make up your own mind. If you can do that and not be faint of heart, you'll be all right. OK. But whatever you do, don't mention the accident. You know, before I came to Oxford, I would have never imagined there was so much uninhabited countryside so nearby. Oh, there's plenty of country around here. And thank heavens for it. How long does the bus take to get into Oxford Centre? 30 minutes like. Makes a lot of stops on the way. By the by, what college are you in? Did the student employment office say it was St Edmund Hall? Or am I thinking of something else? Mm, it is St. Edmund Hall. Nice college from what I've heard. Hmm. I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. What does that mean, exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. How excited they were. It was busy, too. Or oh, starting to be. Then something happened and... Well, he closed it. But what does that mean? Cognitive abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. He's retired now? Well, you could say that. He hasn't seen patients in years. How far are we from London? London? Oof, hour and a half, I'd say. Car or train would run you about the same. Of course, you'd never catch me driving in London. Oh, not for a million pounds. That's not bad. Far enough away to be grateful, not so far as to be sorry. <laughs> or so the locals say. So, what exactly does Dr. Stiles' assistant do around here? I mean, as you see it. Never had one before. I'm sure they told you at the student employment office. It's mainly paperwork he wants done. Files sorted, computer work, things of that sort. You should have plenty of time to keep up with your studies. I told him there's no use sending over a medical student. He'd never let you touch his actual work. I take it you're not in the sciences. Was it the tattoos that gave me away? No offence, dear. <laughs> What is it that you study? Um, English Lit. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, I wanted to ask, will you be wanting the room or will you be staying at the university? The room? The room you were in last night. It's yours whenever you want it. It's empty otherwise, isn't it? Tempting. Meals too. If you're late, I'll leave you dinner in the fridge. I'm sure a girl like you knows how to use a microwave. <laughs> sure. I know they told me this at university, but I'm not sure I remember it correctly. Besides the room and board, the physician pays... Well, I never. <laughs> Catch a fever last night, did you? <laughs> I'd have thought that would be the first thing on a student's mind. Sure. But I was looking at a whole list of available jobs, and I'm afraid I might be confusing them. Fifty pounds. 
Right, that's what I thought. Thanks. I noticed the painting on the stairway. Beautiful girl. Is that Dr. Stiles' daughter? If you want to get along in this house, that's the sort of thing you don't ask. Ever. Oh, right. Sorry. That calendar is out of date. She seems nice enough, but you never can tell. Nothing ventured, nothing done. He's a charmer. Don't get too comfortable, Houdini. of a veiled woman. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it's sinister as hell. I love it. Someone modernized an old fireplace. Cool idea. I have a problem. Dr. Stiles asked me to leave my cell phone number with you, but I don't have one. Oh, take mine. My sister's the only one who ever calls me on it, and she's on holiday. Are you sure? Thank you. I had one, but there was this incident with a ground squirrel. Ugly. They could be nasty blighters, can't they? They're well stocked for just two people. I suppose there must have been a lot more living here once upon a time. Now it's practically home, isn't it? So this is Oxford. Not bad. I need to line up those students for the experiment. But while I'm here, I really want to snoop around. See if I can find any reference to the Daedalus Club here in Oxford.
I don't need to use the phone booth right now. Magic shop. You must be twenty one. It's the Deedless Club logo. Hmm. Is that really wise, I wonder? <laughs> Hi. This is a Deedless Club puzzle box, isn't it? Is it? My, my. What a mystery. Can I be of assistance, young lady? I hope so. That is a Deedless Club puzzle box, isn't it? I recognize the club logo. Do you? And what would an American like you know about the Daedalus Club? I've been in Europe for almost two years now. I know a lot of street magicians on the continent. Ah, I thought you had the look. Watch carefully. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Very nice, my dear. My name is Mephistopheles. And who are you? Samantha Everett. Sam. But my stage name is Lady Byron. Nope. Never heard of you. Well, I haven't been in England long. So about the Daedalus Club. I know they have a dinner club in London. Are they here in Oxford, too? Do they run this shop? As in the Roman times, we are merely a lowly outpost, and not the thing itself. I heard they run public games, riddles, and scavenger hunts. That kind of thing. Is that what the box is? A public game? They might put those in any friendly establishment. They might. You're curious to know what I know about the Daedalus Club. Oh, very. Will you indulge an old man? I worked with the great Scarpelli in Rome last summer. He told me a lot. The great Scarpelli, red-haired, garlic-breathed old con man who favors chickens in his act. That's him. He's very talented, you know. Oh, I know. He said it's the most secret club for magicians and illusionists on Earth. All the great masters belong to it. Do they? And what other morsels did he divulge? To become a member, you have to pull off a grand game, like a major public illusion or legendary con. He's worked on one for several years, but hasn't perfected it yet. Ah, uh, a common fate, I'm afraid. But one must always start somewhere, Miss Everett. And a good place might be that box. Yes, I believe you're right. Thank you. Oh, now I get it. It looks like a younger Mephistopheles. Is that a joke? Or is Mephistopheles more famous than I thought? or more conceited.
21. That did it. That's the deedless. You must, you must be. This is a deedless club riddle. My first one. This is a deedless club riddle. My first. The riddle says something about the scholar's heart. Is that a particular part of Oxford? I'm not familiar with the city. Hmm. I would take that to mean the heart of the university, which is where you are right now. But I wouldn't depend on my help if I were you. I'm a miser with it, for one thing. And if you got aid, how would you know if you were worthy of the game? And the game of you. I didn't. Right. Never mind. What happens if I win the game? What happens? Only one way to find out. Makes your eye color change without any kind of glass. The only thing that differentiates this fake blood from real blood is the fact that it's easier to wash out. The sides of this cube can be swapped by pressing a button to match your prediction. Break and repair this magic wand in the blink of an eye. Break and repair. Any text written with this ink will disappear within a few minutes. The bread and butter. Makes your eye. The only thing that differentiates this fake blood from real blood Queen and High Streets. The riddle says, high above high and reigning over Queen. Maybe the spot I'm looking for is around here. Car factory. Pretty nice view up here. a little box attached to the wall. The box has a Deedless Club logo. I need to do something with this box, but I don't know what. A girl traveling on her own needs more than a few tricks up her sleeve. Looks like the bottom might come off. But how? Maybe it has something to do with those vents. Fire! It worked! It's a piece of gold. And the second paper looks like a coat of arms. Maybe it's a clue to the next location. This is a deed. It's a piece of gold for the betrayer's price. According to the riddle, there are four more hidden somewhere around Oxford.
Each college has its own coat of arms. Classy. Each college Each college has its That doesn't match. That's it. Christchurch College. There's something here. It's definitely a Daedalus club box. It has their logo, but how do I open it? That paper on the top, it must be related to the opening mechanism. That won't work. There's no problem finding water around here, if I need it. It's a naked guy with wings on its hat. I think it's a statue of Mercury, the Roman messenger. There's no problem finding water. That won't work. Water from the fountain. It worked! That must be a clue to the next location. It has the Christchurch coat of arms in it, so it must be around here somewhere. That must be a clue to the next. It's another piece of the ideogram. I better look around more closely. Nothing unusual. Hmm. Looks like that dirt has been freshly dug. Looks like normal plant stuff to me. Nothing unusual. I think there's something down there. It's a piece of the ideogram and a beer coaster. The beer coaster must be a clue to the next location. I still need to find a few more of these pieces of gold. It looks like they'll form an image when I have them all.
Lady Dog does go with the theme of the riddle. I've already done fire, water, and earth, so wind would be next, but they're closed. I may have to finish this riddle tomorrow. Unfortunately, they're closed. 